what's up youtube family gonzo coming at you here from the truck uh, i don't want to put it there oh, that's my house so i wanted to give you guys a shout out real quick and uh, let you know by the time you see this video all this stuff would have gone down already but can you tell my fridge isn't there my microwave isn't there I mean, you can't tell because my cabinets, they're empty. I got most of my stuff out. I'm cleaning this out. Oh, it's trash. So, I, um, for now, my time at Prime is coming to an end. It makes me scared. It makes me nervous because I love this company. I can't and won't go into why I have to leave. Some of you guys know. You know it's very personal. And all I can say is this again. When I left in 2020 it was temporary. And I'm not sure how temporary this one, this departure is going to be. But at some point I am looking forward to coming back and doing the lease purchase program that being said for now it's currently the day after thanksgiving it's um friday november 25th 26th and i'm leaving tomorrow and i'm gonna be grabbing a load i don't know from where but i know ultimately i'm gonna drop it in springfield and once I drop that load in Springfield, I will be turning in my truck. So, the wife and my mom are going to take my car, that one over there, not the black one, the blue one, the blueberry. They're going to follow, or they're not going to follow me directly, because I don't know where I'm grabbing a load from. For all, I might grab a load that's sitting at the Houston yard, or I might get... A load down to Laredo and bring a lot of uh, get a load out of Laredo but my mom and my wife are going to meet me up in Springfield and from there I'm gonna gather up the last of my things and I'm going to come home um, we'll document everything and you'll see everything as it happens but um, just know for now that though my time with Prime is coming to an end at the moment my time with you guys is not there's things lined up for me to do here at home I I have uh, I have attempted to secure further empl employment beyond Prime and alright YouTube family Gonzo coming at you here we are once again asking for root. Asking for root. We are once again at the Beasley Pilot Flying J. It's a pilot in Beasley, Texas. If you are a subscriber, or even if you're not and you're just watching this video, I want to give a shout out to the blue Prime Inc. flatbed truck that's chilling here in the reserve parking. It's um it's rare to see the primates pulled over here. It's usually uh, not a major prime uh, destination for, uh, for primates. So I got some uh, leftover. In a quarter mile, turn left to South First Street. Then, after 600 feet, continue straight on to a slide road. Some good old turkey stuffing and cranberry sauce leftover sandwiches to snack on we are headed down to Laredo Texas pick up a load down there at the yard it's there and we are headed over there we're gonna get down there ASAP grab that load turn and burn and um, bring it right on back up the cut to head back out to Springfield, Missouri. Because as y'all know from the last video, we 
we are turning in the truck. So, we're going to take off from here. We're going to get going. We'll lower the brightness on this screen real quick. All right, cool. I cannot see anything. All right, we're going to get going. We're going to start the drive clock here. I just filled up, topped off. The truck is all the way full. And before anybody says anything, yes, the truck is currently moving a bit. But I'm inside the parking lot of this pilot and I'm doing the e-log crawl. So under four mile an hour um, just to, to get out. I'll start the drive clock once I get out to the, to the road. Uh, this is one of those interesting situations here because the Garmin is telling me 325 miles, but the Qualcomm is telling me 332 miles. And this situation right here is the reason I do the e-log crawl because there's a gentleman trying to back into a spot. He didn't quite make it. So if I would have started my clock, I would have burnt like 45 seconds on my clock and then have to wait for him to park. Fortunately, he saw me coming. He's like, yeah, man, I'll let you go by, man. He didn't want to deal with that. He didn't, he didn't want to catch these hands. I'm so full of it. I'm a lover, not a fighter, y'all. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so the Garmin is coming in for the wind, saving us a couple miles. Now that's as of now, though. I think it's because, no, they're both doing about the same thing. Yeah, headed down to I-10. Oh, okay, I see why. The Garmin wants us to head back up north to Rosenberg, Texas, my hometown, and cut through Rosenberg, uh, still taking a bunch of state roads and such, to get out to I-10. Now, ordinarily, you cut through Rosenberg, you go uh, highway uh, US-90 alternate all the way down to I-10. Uh, I believe that's in CD, Texas. Uh, so if you drive truck 611847, what's up, brother? I see you over there in the reserve parking looking, looking good, man. That's a good looking parking job, brother. But uh, we're going to take off here. And uh, I just made it to the edge of the parking lot. It's almost stopped recording now. I will check in with you guys once we get to Laredo. What's up, YouTube family? Gonzo coming at you here. Oh, man. It was a long, long night. So, I ended up leaving the house around 3 p.m. and bobtailing to Laredo, picking up this loaded trailer at the yard in Laredo, and then heading out. So, I did, I did what I call turn and burn. I'm sure a lot of people call it that, so I'm not special by any means. But, uh, so you have zero hours and 47 minutes of remaining drive time. Give me a second. So, anywho, I, I turned to burn and made it out here to Jarrell, Texas. And I was exhausted. I did 620 miles straight off of home time. But here's the thing. Excuse me. <laughs> there's the thing though I was home for two days ish right and um well I was home and I'm sorry I'm still my brain is still asleep right now but I did a 620 mile shift coming off a of home time which is not like 
a big deal. But I uh, I had already been awake. I woke up around 7 or 8 a.m. yesterday morning. I didn't leave the house till like 4 p.m., 3 or 4 p.m. Yeah, 3 or 4 p.m. And by the I stopped driving around 4.30 in the morning. So it was pretty exhausting. I was, um, I, I kind of pushed myself a little harder than what I usually do. Um, I was down to like 45 minutes on my, well, actually, look, I was down to 47 minutes on my 14, 14 hour clock or my 11 hour clock. I think that's my, yeah, 11 hour clock. I was down at an hour 57 on my 14. Anyway. So, I still have about two hours left of my break, but, you know, I had a, I have a little bit of, uh, I have a little bit of frozen syndrome, you know, the sky's awake, therefore I'm awake, and, anywho, I'm gonna go inside here and use the facilities and go get me some Denny's, so let's go. What is up, what is up, YouTube family? Gonzo coming at you here, uh with another fine recording. It's dark, obviously. I'm just leaving the yard. I'm in the Blueberry here in Springfield. Headed back to the hotel. I just uh, took the last little bit of my stuff out of the truck. Um, so I already sold. Uh, if you follow the Facebook group, you'll know that I was uh, selling a couple of things, including my uh, snow socks and trailer trailer wires and trailer cables and uh, a couple of things most of it's already sold except for the trailer wires I'm not too worried I can give those back to inbound outbound for credit which uh, which is fine but I uh, want to check in with you guys yeah so it was a crazy couple of days last time I spoke with you I was going to Laredo to pick up a load I bobtailed to Laredo, turned and burned, made it all the way to the to the Flying J in Gerald, Texas. J A R R E L L, or something like that. Gerald, Texas. Drove about 620 miles that day. I was pretty beat, and um, I had like 45 minutes left on my on my 11. So I'm like, yeah, it's probably a good uh, probably a good time to cut it off. And uh, from Jarrell, Texas, I drove straight all the way through to Springfield, just over 600 miles. Um, you know, coming up, uh, I-45 turns into 75, turned into, what is it, 69. Anyway, it was good. We, we made it up here. Uh, my family made it up here before I did. Uh, I had already uh, made a, a reservation for the, at the hotel for them. So they were already asleep by the time I got there. But anywho, so yeah, um, I told you guys on the Facebook group details would come. Details were, you know, details coming up. So what's going on? Well, some of you guys know I have uh, some issues going on at the house that, I mean, it's one of the reasons I have to go home as often as I do, but I don't want to get into that. What I will say is, <clears throat> Uh, things have progressed and I have to be home more often and I'm already home pretty often for an over-the-road truck driver I'm not complaining. I've made really good money at it but at this point having just about two years experience and uh, You know since my hire date since my hire date and the date that I got my my CDL, but anywho I uh, I was trying to figure out what to do, and it just so happens I got a I got a, an opportunity to get a local job driving an Amazon uh, Prime. So I'm still driving for Prime, y'all. Uh, but it's an Amazon Prime day cab, and I'll be taking a pay cut, but it's okay. It's not bad. I am. Um, it's kind of 
scary. Because, I mean, for better or for worse, Prime is what I know. Prime is where my heart's at, where my family is at. You know, where all my friends are. And I've grown accustomed to the Prime way of doing things. So it is a little scary, but at the same time, I'm not one to back away from a challenge. So we're gonna go hit it. Um, talked to my fleet manager today, told him I would have all my stuff out by today and be ready to turn the truck in tomorrow, Tuesday. And that's what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna go see Success Leasing in the morning and take care of it. That's where we're at. And um, then after that, um, my family and me will be driving the Blueberry, this car, back to Houston. Um, it's funny because, uh, you know, my mom is like, Mijo, that's, that's like 680 miles. Are you sure you're going to be okay to do that? I'm like, come on. You know, I, I, I've done 660 miles in a 80,000, 75, 78,000 pound truck, you know, 80,000 uh, gross vehicle weight rating um, that only goes 65 miles an hour. I'll be okay. We'll make this happen. This car, I, if the speed limit's 80, guess what? I'm driving 80. I could do that in this car. So, yeah, it's, um, it. I don't think I would be able to handle this as well as if my family wasn't here. Even if I had like gotten my nephew to drive the car up here for me and then gotten him a, a plane ticket home, it wouldn't have been as easy, you know? Having my family here, you know, it, it, the wife and my mom, and it, it just makes it easier because I'm rem I remember seeing them as a reminder of why I'm doing this. You know, and I told my fleet manager when I talked to him, I'm like, look, man, I'm not, this is not a permanent exit. Like, I mean, it could be, I can't put anything, you know, I can't put anything in absolutes because only a Sith deals in absolutes. Yes, I'm a Star Wars fan. What can I say? But I told him, man, if and when, I come back to Prime, I'm going to lease purchase, and I'm putting you down as my desired fleet manager. This boy, I can hear his grin over the phone. He's like, Gonzo, if you don't put me down as your as your fleet manager, I'm not approving your rehire application. <laughs> he's like, he's, he says, it has to come through me because I'm your fleet manager, so if you don't put me, I won't approve it. I'm like, bet, all right. But I'm just getting back to the hotel, so I'll check you guys out later. For now, love, peace, and chicken grease. I'll shoot a little, another video tomorrow for you guys once I'm uh, getting ready to turn in the truck. Peace out. Well, there she is for the last time. Bye, girl. She's been good to me. So if you're watching this and you get... 611946. Just know you're getting a solid truck. I've done my best to keep her clean and keep her healthy. Always do my pre-trips properly. Always make sure everything I'm st I'm on top of everything. So, 611946 is good to roll. <clears throat> Say bye, babe. We will head out back to the blueberry and walk away <sighs> but that's enough for this video thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe ring the bell all that good stuff and uh I'll fill you guys in some more from the road and just uh in general like i said before Although, prime time is coming to an end, that doesn't mean the channel's coming to an end. So, we will be, we will still maintain. <clears throat> so, for now, I'll check you guys out later. Put this video out a little today. It's currently 
Tuesday, the 30th, 929 AM. I gotta go get checked out of the hotel and uh, head out. Go back to Texas and uh, make another video of a little off time I have. Probably get some music in. Dust, uh, dust the old guitars off and uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll check in with you guys. But for now, we'll check you guys out later.